Oil prices have stabilized and there are no factors that could budge the quotes in the short term. The risk of a global economic crisis persists and thus a potential drop in the energy demand will gradually put pressure on the oil prices. Meanwhile, the European Union is working on a new package of sanctions against Russia, considering measures to crack down on the circumvention of existing restrictions, including the purchase of Russian energy via third two countries. And in this case, the global market will lose colossal volumes of oil and gas, which in turn will result in a catastrophic deficit. In addition, this could lead to a surge in the prices. However, there is no clarity on this issue yet, so the assets for the dynamic will depend on the fundamental factors. Since the beginning of the trading week, brand crude oil futures have been on the rise from the support level of $70 per barrel. The asset has gained over 10%, hitting the level of 77 Despite a fairly strong price change, the medium-term trend is still bearish. At the time of preparing the material for this video, the benchmark has slid to the level of $73.5 per barrel. A decline in the prices can be attributed to the U.S. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm's speech to Congress. According to her, it will be difficult to replenish strategic oil reserves this year. This has sparked speculation that the U.S. government intends to resume buying oil only at the lower prices. The only question is how the U.S. will bring the price of oil down, and we will continue to look for the low price into the future because we intend to be able to save the taxpayer dollars, Greenholm noted. In the meantime, the global banking sector is mired in uncertainty. Fears are rising, even despite U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen's comments. She said that the government is willing to take further action to stabilize U.S. banks, even necessary, which forces investors to avoid risky assets. Against this background, investors are looking for ways to protect at least some part of their capital. In current reali realities, gold is a, a top choice for investors to hedge against potential financial risks. Thus, the yellow metal is gradually approaching $2,000 per ounce. If the price overcomes this mark, the way to $2,100 uh, will open. The Russian currency remains stable, it's still trading in the range of 76 to 77 rubles per dollar, despite the regulators for the monetary policy tightening, as well as the resilience of the Russian economy in the face of the sanctions regime. The ruble is standing still. This is due to the Ministry of Finance, which continues to carry out foreign exchange interventions aimed uh, precisely at weakening the Russian currency. And this is often indicated uh, by a price return above the 77 mark. Thus, there is a still a likelihood that the dollar will extend gains against the ruble. At the same time, any change in the parameters of a foreign exchange interventions will instantly change the situation and support the ruble. And that's all for now. We wish you profitable deals. See you now channel with a new video in a couple of hours.